Hello, in this video tutorial, we will show you how to set up the Pixma TS7720 wireless home all-in-one printer and scan the documents and photos using your Pixma printer in simple and easy steps. So, let's get started. We will begin with how to set up your Pixma printer and prepare it for the first time use. This involves configuring the printer as well. Before we begin, we need to unpack the printer, power it on and then connect the printer to a network or establish a USB connection with your computer. Before connecting your Pixma printer to the network and configure it, please check that you meet the following two conditions. Number 1. Ensure that you have an access hub or a wireless Wi-Fi networking router via which you can get an internet connection. Your access point must be fully functioning before you begin setting up the Pixma printer. Number 2. Ensure that you have a computing device such as a PC, Mac, tablet or a smartphone from here on referred to as the computer which is successfully connected to the internet. To start setting up your Pixma printer, follow this guide and proceed step by step as you move along this tutorial. First. Open the packaging box and take out the printer unit from the packaging box. Then, remove all the protective materials including any sealing tape from the printer's outer body. Take out the power cord and connect it to the rear end of the Pixma printer. Connect the other end of the power cord to a nearby electrical outlet. Then, switch on your computer. Visit the Canon Pixma series printer setup wizard at https ij.manual.canon. The web page will begin loading. Once loaded, click on the button Set Up. The web setup wizard will take you to an alphabetically ordered Pixma printer series list. Choose your printer from the provided list. The web setup wizard will now give you an option to download your Pixma printer software. Press on the download button and download the software on your computer. Press the power button of your Pixma printer to turn on your printer. Then wait till the printer powers on and completes its startup operations. Now that you have powered on your Pixma printer, it's time to fill the ink tanks of the printer. Let us show you how to do so. First, make sure that the Pixma printer is powered on. Retract the paper output tray and paper tray extension. Then open the cover. Take your printer's fine cartridge out of the packaging box and remove the protective tapes gently and carefully. Insert the new fine cartridge at a slanted angle into the fine cartridge holder of the Pixma printer. The color fine cartridge should be installed into the left slot and the black fine cartridge should be installed into the right slot. Push the fine cartridge in and up firmly until it snaps into place. Then. Close the Pixma printer's cover. Adjust the print head positions and then allow the printer to complete its operations and wait till it becomes idle. After the ink cartridge installation, make sure to perform paper alignment operation by using the printer's control panel. Now that you have completed installing the ink cartridges in your Pixma printer, let's proceed and fill some paper into the paper tray. First, make sure that you have retracted the paper output tray and paper tray extension modules from your Pixma printer. Slide the paper edge guides all the way out, fully opened. Load your preferred paper into the printer's paper tray unit. Then, slide the edge guides to fit against the paper's edge, but not too tightly, so that the paper can freely flow through the paper tray. Now, Carefully pull out the printer's paper output tray from the front. Select the paper settings from the printer's control panel display. Please remember to follow the printer's user guide to understand information regarding paper tray's capacity and how much paper and which paper types or paper densities should you load into the paper tray. Now coming back to the tutorial, once the paper tray is loaded with plain paper, the final step is to install the printing software. Let us show you how to do that. By now, you should have already downloaded your Pixma printer software as we had discussed earlier. 
in the very first section of this video tutorial. Now open the downloaded file by double clicking on the file. The Pixma printer installation process should now begin. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the printer's driver and software installation processes. For wireless connections, in most cases, the software should be able to automatically connect to your wireless network and configure as appropriate. You may need to enter your Wi-Fi network name or SSID and its password. If you prefer to set up and connect through a USB connection with the computer, then select that option during software and driver installation. Make sure that you have a USB cable with proper terminals. And that is it. Once finished, your Pixma printer should all be configured and ready to use. Now that we have learned how to set up the Pixma printer, let us move forward and show you how to scan using your Pixma printer in simple and easy steps. To scan using a Pixma printer, please follow the second part of this tutorial till the very end. You can scan documents or photos using Pixma printer and save it to a connected computer over USB connection or a wireless connection by using your Pixma printer. You can also save the scanned files in various file formats using the advanced settings panel of the simple and intuitive IJ Scan Utility tool for Pixma printers. Before you proceed, ensure that you have the IJ Scan Utility installed on your computer. The IJ Scan Utility tool is necessary for scanning using Pixma printer and should be getting automatically installed with the printer's driver and software package. If the IJ Scan Utility is not available on your computer, you may install the IJ Scan Utility software from Canon Pixma's official website by following the steps below. First, visit the website of the given website URL. Then, select Printers from the options provided on the support page. Then, select Pixma from the list of options. After that, you may select your Pixma printer's series name. Then, select the exact model and click on it. On the next page, go to Downloads section then select your operating system and its version from the drop-down lists that are provided on the page. You will be presented with a list of drivers and software. Choose the option Print Driver and Scan Utility Installer to begin downloading the software. Once downloaded, double-click on the installer to begin installing the Pixma printer's driver and scan utility software. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process of the IJ Scan Utility software along with its printer's drivers and some additional tools. Now you have successfully installed your Pixma printer's scanning software. After that, follow the steps below to scan your document using the Pixma printer. Lift the scanner lid and place your document on the scanning platen glass. Make sure that the document is placed with the printed side facing downwards on the platen glass. Align the document using arrow signs and guides on the left back corner of the scanning area. If you are using a scanner that has an automatic document feeder or ADF, you can load the paper onto the ADF facing upwards. You should hear a soft beeping sound if the document is inserted properly into the automatic document feeder. Now open the IJ Scan Utility software. Select your printer's model number from the drop down list. Then click on the settings in the lower right corner of the IJ Scan Utility window. Configure your default scanning options. Select your scanned document's destination folder where the scanned document will be saved. Then select the software with which you want to open your scanned document. Finally, if you want to scan multi-paged documents and wish to merge all the pages into a single scanned file, you can select PDF multiple pages under data format. Some printers have the feature to automatically scan both sides of a document. To enable this feature, make sure to select document ADF Platen option under the Select Source drop-down menu. 
Then click on OK button once you're happy with all the settings. You should now return to the iGIS Scan Utility main screen. Now to scan with the selected settings, click on the document button. For more scanning features, please refer to your Pixma printer's product manual. And that is it. You have now successfully scanned your document using your Pixma printer. I hope that you have found this video useful. Have a happy time printing and scanning with your new Pixma printer and wish you a great day. Contact us for a superior tech support and printer support experience. Call us at plus one. 888-557-3899